Yes, I am in my pajamas because I just recorded my second episode of Pajama Makeup, which is a series on my channel that I just started. And um, so if you haven't seen it yet, I will link it up here for you to check it out. But I figured while I had my makeup on, I would go ahead and record this video because everyone else has had theirs out for some time now and I am very late to the party. I had every intention of doing this because I did it last year, but I'm slow. Well, and I also had the dreaded and so I was not feeling very good for a while there. So that kind of set me back a little. But anyway, I thought I would go ahead and combine the products that I want to try out this year or brand type things along with my favorites of 2020. So, um, I thought it was kind of fun as I was going through the other night and looking at what were the things that I was hoping to try in 2020, how many of them did I actually try and how many of them are still things that would be on my list today. So we're going to get into that first. So first off, I had, let's see, I had chosen 20 like products I wanted to try. And um, out of those 20, I only tried one, two, three, four, five, five of those things. Now, since then, several of those things have become unavailable. And several of them have become things that I'm like, mm, no, no, I wouldn't really care to try it. So that makes me happy that I didn't spend the money on it because it's not something that when I look at now, I'm like excited about. And I think that's a good thing reason to not just go out and buy things right when you are like oh ooh, I like this because sometimes if you give it a while that excitement fades and um you can save yourself a lot of money and I'm very practical so that's not hard for me to do to kind of wait on things but um occasionally occasionally I get a little overzealous but anyway so the things that I did try were the milk makeup bronzer stick I love that and I don't use it as much as I want to so that's something I do plan to use more in this year. Um, Makeup Geek Shadows, which the verdict's still out for me on those. Um, they're just okay, the ones that I got. Now, I did not get, they reformulated, and so I had gotten like their old formulation, which everyone talked like crazy about. And so that's kind of, I was like, well, I want to get those ones that I know everyone liked in case something changes with the formula when they rebrand or whatever they were doing. And um, I didn't have like the best look with them. Do I use them? Yes. Do I love them? No, they're not something that I reach for a lot, but I did try them. Um, the Juvia's Minis, the Violets, right here. We'll be talking about this again. That will be revisited. So I did get that. Um, I wanted to try some Juvia's Face and Lip products and I did try their um, blushes and um, powder, setting powder. So I do like those a lot. So that was something I tried. And then the last thing was the Dominique Cosmetics Berries and Cream Palette. And I did get that palette and I love it. It's absolutely gorgeous. And so um, those were the things that were on my list for things to try in 2020 that I actually did try. Now, I am not choosing 21 things this year or anything like that. I wanted to just pick things that have been kind of on my radar that I keep looking at and um, kind of just have those be the narrowed down list. So there are only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight things on my list, which is much more practical. And um, three of those things are things that were on my list last year. And so one of the things that was on my list last year that I would like to try again this year, or would not try again, that this year I would like to try, is a lip stain. That seems pretty attainable. I'm not really sure why I didn't last year. I think it just never really like put the focus on it to actually actively look for one. So I would like to try a lip stain and especially with the way obviously having to wear masks and stuff, it's nice to have a lip product that will stay underneath your mask so that if you do go somewhere where you can take off your mask, which in Michigan our restaurants have been closed since November again, so there's not really anywhere to go in public and have people see the lower half of your face, but um, hopefully that won't be too much longer. And um, so when that does happen and restaurants open again, it would be nice to be able to have a full face of makeup on. So when I take off my mask, I have a nice colored lip. So a lip stain would be great. Another one of those things that I would like to try that was on my list last year is something from Moira Beauty. Um, I love the look of their eyeshadow palettes. I have seen other people use them in videos and they all say good things about the quality, about the formula. So um, that is something that has drawn my attention since last year. So I really would like to get one of their eyeshadow palettes this year. And then um, last year on my list was the Ace Beauté Flare Palette. I think that palette is just so gorgeous. Every time I see it, the color story is just like, bam. Like that is like, I don't know what it is about it, but I love it. It's, um, it's colorful, but it's 
their deep tones and oh uh, I don't know I just I love it so that is another thing on my list and then I would like to try one of or maybe more than one of the elf putty blushes I have heard really good things about those I am really getting into the idea of trying some more like cream type products so um those definitely call to me and they're not expensive so that's easily attainable too um okay this mm, Hmm. Well, I'll go with these first. So the other one would be a new foundation. I don't have one in mind, nothing like that, but I tend to not really branch out in the foundation realm. So I would really like to try just a new foundation this year and see what I think. Um, another thing is the NYX Marshmallow Primer that you keep seeing everywhere. I almost bought it with my gift card for my son and then I decided to pick some other things. And then, which I'm super excited about and you will be seeing a video of me using those things, but um, I keep seeing people use it and say such good things about it. And so I'm like, okay, yes, I really do want that. So I would like to get my hands on that. <laughs> um, and then the other two things are palettes, actually. One is the Melt Makeup Gemini palette. Ever since that palette came out, it is just, I think it's stunning. I love the color story of it. And I just, I have never tried anything from Melt Cosmetics before. And so um, that palette just has been calling to me for a long time. So it's still on my list, but it's expensive. And that's why I don't already have it. <laughs> and then the other thing is the, I have never owned any of the Urban Decay Naked palettes. None of them really like spoke to me a ton. But the one that I see over and over, and every time I see someone do a look with it, I'm like, eh, is the Naked Honey palette. There's something about those kind of golden tones that I just absolutely love. I think it's gorgeous. And so that is on my list. So that might be a possibility of a palette that I will pick up this year. I do not go out and just buy palettes like crazy or any makeup really. And so I'm like, if I have this list of eight things that's much more attainable as stuff throughout this year that maybe, because that's less than one product a month. So that's pretty good, right? <laughs> and so that is my list of things that I would like to try in 2020. No, 2021. Ooh, girl, get in the right year. All right. So the next thing that I wanted to go over with you guys were just my favorites from this past year. And um, let's see, I have seven. I had 16 favorites on my list last year. Seven of those 16 products are still my favorites currently from this, you know, so from 2019 and all the way through 2020, these have remained favorites. So I'm going to go ahead and show you those first. First off, my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Eyeshadow Primer. I love this stuff. I have tried other eyeshadow primers. They don't do anything. Uh, some of them don't work for me at all. And then others just don't do anything more for me than this does. And this is way less expensive. So if it ain't broke, don't fix it. It's kind of my motto. And so um, between my mom and the sweet Christy Pope, they hooked me up with my eyeshadow primer for Christmas. So I am stacked and I am a happy girl. <laughs> and then um, another thing is my Cody Airspun powder. You guys, I'm still working on the same thing of powder. Now it's getting pretty low, but I love this powder. It keeps my makeup looking so nice all day. It keeps me from getting super greasy. I have very oily skin and I love this and I love the smell of it. So um, I am so close to getting done with it so that will obviously be finished up this year but I also want to get into some other powders you know because I have other ones and I'd like to give them some use um when I said that I want to try a new foundation that would be because this has been my favorite and it's the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte it just works for me it works for me it doesn't it does gather a tiny bit there in my smile lines but not very much and otherwise, it just looks so nice on my face. It's not, I have oily skin, so it keeps me drier, but it doesn't suck the life out of my skin kind of thing. And it's just, it's such a good, it's like a medium, light to medium coverage. I do use it, you know, kind of between light and medium, I would say. Um, so I don't like a heavy foundation. I feel like that ages you as you get older when you wear a really heavy foundation. And I just... I really like it, so I can't help it. It's still a favorite. Um, another is the Essence Pure Nude Highlight. You guys, I use this, I'm not even kidding, every day, pretty much every day when I do my makeup. This is still the same one from last year. Like, it's got a good dent in it because it used to be domed, but this stuff is, I, I mean, I have it on right now. 
I have this foundation on right now. I have the Cordier Spun Powder on right now. Most of the things I'm talking about I have on right now. Um, but this stuff, I'm telling you, it is just such a natural, pretty glow. And I am not a highlight girl where it's like, woo, you've got highlight on your face. That's just not my aesthetic. That's not what I like. I like to just have like a natural, pretty glow that makes me, I feel like it looks more youthful to the skin and things like that. And I just, I love this stuff. I recommend it a hundred times over. This is the Be My Highlight number 10. So in case you're wondering, because there are, are different ones now. Um, then the... Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in Quirky, which I do believe this is not a color you can get anymore, but I do have two backups, which is a good thing. These are just the little trial sizes. I got it for the first time in Ipsy and fell in love. And um, this is what she's looking like right now. So I'm just scraping the sides, but I am going to let her go because I want to start using some other stuff. But pigmentation is gorgeous. It doesn't go on like crazy. I like to build it up. I kind of like a little bit of blush. That's just my, my thing. And, um, stays all day. doesn't get patchy, nothing. Love this blush. And then the eyebrow pencil I've been using nonstop now for two years is the e.l.f. Instant Lift Brow Pencil. So it's got the swoolie on one end and the retractable, I should turn it the right way, brow pencil on the other. It's got one of my brows stuck to it. There you go. Um, I love these. I will just continue to buy them because they're like two dollars and I mean you cannot beat that. And they're quick and I like the color. Um, I, mine's natural, neutral brown, I think it's called. It's neutral brown or natural brown. But anyway, that's, it's like the perfect shade for my, you know, to match me. And then the last thing on my list that was something that was on it last year as a favorite and is still a favorite from this past year is the Persona Identity Palette. You, if you've been around my channel for a while, you have heard me talk about this palette. It is just perfect. It's actually um, marketed toward people with brown eyes. Obviously, I do not have brown eyes. I have blue eyes, which actually look really green today because of the um, color of shadow I have on. But these, you don't have to have brown eyes to have it look good. I love these. These shimmers are so gorgeous. I just, any time I do a look with this palette, I know it's going to come out looking good. And so it's one of those palettes that you just, it's a no brainer. Like I know if I don't want to have to think about, you know, what I'm going to put together as a look and I just want to get out the door, it's going to look amazing if I do a look with this. So that is a favorite that has maintained being a favorite. <laughs> and so now we are going to get into some favorites that are new to me this year. There, now there were some categories that were not, I didn't have something for last year and same with this year. I do not have a primer, like a face primer that is my favorite. Um, but something I do have this year that was not on my list last year is a favorite concealer. And I have loved this Maybelline <laughs> Instant Age Rewind. As you can see, everything's, you know, coming off of it. I am at the very, very end of this puppy. It has the little spongy top. I have loved this concealer. It has done me well, but I wanted to try a new one. So I just, if you didn't see my Ulta haul, I'll link it up here. Um, but I just got myself a new concealer to try. And so it's also Maybelline though. Um, and we are going to see how that goes, but I thoroughly enjoyed this and would definitely 100% buy it again. Definitely. Um, another favorite for this year, I got this, I'm pretty sure last year for Christmas, I picked it out, but my husband put it in my stocking, <laughs> but it is this Real Technique, Real Techniques, I cannot speak, it's a number 301 foundation brush, looks like this, oh my goodness, yeah, it's dirty, because I use it all the time, I just used it for my look today, I love it, it's got like a slight angle there, and it's flat, it's like the perfect density, and I love this brush. I sometimes will switch out, switch out and be like, well, I should use a different brush or use a sponge. Nope, I'll use it like one or two days and go right back to this one. I love this brush, it's fantastic. Um, speaking of brushes, these two SLS Miss Glam brushes that I've gotten in Ipsy, um, they are the Precise Eye E25, which looks like this. They all have the cute little jewels on them and the glitter. And then this one is the um, SS57. And it looks like this. Now this is usually nice and pink and stuff, but these these are dirty because I use them all the time. I love these brushes. I use them pretty much daily. This one, like every 
look today I used some different brushes I forced myself but I love these brushes I think these are great brushes so um I'm so happy that I've gotten a few I have some other I think uh um highlight brush and another eye brush that are this brand that I don't use as much but I still do like them but these two brushes I use constantly now the physician's formula butter bronzer I didn't mention it I don't think last year which seems weird I don't remember seeing it on my list because I would have marked it but I don't know but it is a great bronzer and mine looks like this so it's about time to let her go and I have some other beautiful bronzers that I'm going to be working through. So I'm not going to purchase another one yet, but would definitely repurchase this without a doubt. It's what I have on today. It's what I have on almost every day when I do my makeup and it's just good. As far as lip products, um, the Fresh, they're little like sugar petal. I, there's all different ones. Um, but they're in these little metal tubes. These are the mini ones. Um, these are amazing. I have this on my lips right now. They are so moisturizing. I am someone who is a lip balm fiend. Like I am constantly putting lip balm on. And um, I took these with me to my church camp this summer and were there for almost two weeks. And I realized throughout that time that I was putting on lip balm at night before I went to bed. That's it. Because usually I'm putting it on constantly all day. I would put this on once, maybe twice a day. And my lips would feel amazing all day long. It was amazing. So I would love to get some more of these. And I think I need to look because I think the holiday sets might be on sale, but I'm so cheap. <laughs> but um, I definitely love these and recommend them. Amazing lip product. And then um, this lip gloss has been my favorite. This is the Milani Keep It Full. This is in the shade Natural Luster 15. Um, it is so nice. It's, I'll show you, it's got a huge doe foot. It's got a I can't smell right now, but I know that it has like a pepperminty, but not strong peppermint. It's like a more sweet peppermint kind of scent and keep it full. It's supposed to be like a little bit plumping. It does like tingle a little bit, not uncomfortably. And I don't know that it actually plumps anything, but it does feel really nice. And this color is just gorgeous, especially if you've got like a really bold eye look and you want to just keep the lips more simple, but pretty. And they just look juicy and hydrated and it's it's just such a good lip gloss I love this lip gloss so that those are my favorite lip products for this year and then before we get to palettes the last thing are colored liners you guys between the ColourPop cream gel liners and the LA girl shockwave neon liners these I've got the uh this blue one on an electric right now in my waterline. These are amazing. They just amp up your look and they last so awesome. And you can use them. Sometimes I use them like in just line right across like the top of my lash line. Typically more though, I use them in my waterline like I did today. Um, I love, it just adds such a fun punch to your look. Now I like colorful anyway, but if you're somebody who kind of shies away from colorful and does a more neutral eye most of the time, but would like to dabble in a little color, I highly suggest getting yourself a couple of these because just, I mean, start simple. Start with like a light pink and, you know, like you don't have to go like crazy with it if you don't want, you know, to jump right in, but like a pretty light teal like this one. I mean, get yourself a few of these and just try it out. And I think you're going to love it because it's just, it just adds extra fun to your look. So I'm a huge fan of those. And now palettes. Like I said, the Persona Identity Palette still it was one of my favorites from this past year. Now, some of the other palettes that have been my favorites are when the Juvia, when Juvia's first came out with their minis, they came out originally with four. It was the nudes, the chocolates, the berries, and the violets. And I picked those all up. I have not picked up the other minis. Not that I don't want them, but I just haven't. <laughs> and um, these have become some of my favorite palettes. Why? They're quick and easy. You like, hey, I'm feeling a little purple today. All right, you grab that purple. Um, maybe you're feeling a little, ooh, I keep the sleeves and everything. Feeling a little pinkish, a little berry. All right, grab this. Don't want a monochromatic look? Why don't you just mix the violets and the berries? Yep, does great things. And then it's the same with the chocolates 
and the nudes. So this is the chocolates. I happen to really, really love these because I really like some of those darker tones. And then the nudes is like this. I find the nudes to be a little bit harder to do a look with. So I typically pair these two so that I have a little bit of the darker tones um, or the nudes with one of the other ones because it just doesn't have, I feel like that's the only thing that this nudes palette is lacking is it just needs a little bit darker shade because this is just not quite dark enough to make a complete look for me. That's just my, the way I like it. Um, but yes, I love those palettes, quick and easy to grab. The shimmers in them are beautiful. The mattes are fantastic. Juvia's is fantastic. They're my favorite. What can I say? Um, another palette that I find myself reaching for a lot because, again, whatever look you do with it, it's going to be good, is the ColourPop Give It To Me Straight palette. And it looks like this. Pretty neutral. But you've got kind of your more coppery, like orangey tones that you can do if you would like to lean more orange. Then there's like the more um, berry, you know, mauve tones. Or you can do just a more neutral light. Um, it's just a good palette. It just really is. And same thing with this. The mattes are great. The shimmers are great. It's just a very pretty palette and creates a very pretty look. So um, yeah, you might be surprised because I wear a lot of color like in videos and stuff and I do in everyday life. But the palettes that I find myself reaching for for like work and stuff on a more regular basis are these palettes. And then um, I don't remember, I feel like it maybe was like around October when I picked up these palettes, but I started getting into the Profusion 10 Pan palettes. You guys, I love them. And these two, the Bear and the Smoky, ever since I've gotten them, I have used the heck out of these palettes. So, um, like these two are brilliant and compelling. These two shimmers right here. Where am I trying to go? Right here and right here so pretty. I love that these have a little bit more of like an orangey tone in that section because I prefer, I love like orange shadows. And then this palette though, this is the one that I've used like crazy. And you can probably, you should be able to see in there. Um, again, the shimmers, fantastic. I, if you want to go a little darker and get into these purples and the, it's so good. This palette I used for Christmas looks. Um, where I would do just the very simple like shades and shimmer and then use colored liner like green and red or um, use a red like shimmer shadow and run it underneath or on top. I mean, just, uh, I really, really enjoy these palettes. So if you are on a budget or if you're just starting out in makeup and you don't want to invest a lot, I highly recommend these Profusion 10 Pan palettes. You can get them at Walmart. They're under $5. I cannot say enough good things about them. So, I think that's it. Yes, those were my favorite products, makeup products for 2020. And so I'm excited to see what new things I stumble upon in 2021. Like I said, I'm trying to branch out now that this is almost gone and this is gone pretty much. And my Cody Earth one's almost gone and this is almost gone. I am going to be branching out into using, especially of these types of products, some different ones and just giving other things a try. That doesn't mean I won't go back to these at some point because I love them. And so um, I highly recommend them if you haven't tried them before and are looking for some new products. I highly recommend everything that I just mentioned to you. I wouldn't say it if I didn't because what would be the point? But like I said to you, um, well, maybe I didn't say it in this video, but things work different on different people. So obviously, skin tones, skin types, that kind of thing, I'll make a difference. Um, but some things are just very universal. Butter bronzer, you hear a lot of people talk about that it's uh, it's like a fan favorite, you know what I mean? Like a cult favorite, I guess, um, that people have always, you know, raved about. Now the Cordy Airs one, I have very oily skin, works great for me. If you have very dry skin, maybe it wouldn't. So things like that, you know, but um, for me, with my aging skin, I'm 42, I'll be 43 in April. So I do have, you know, like crow's feet and things like that. Um, typically have very oily skin and um, yeah, I guess that would be the most of what my skin, I don't really have like acne issues or anything like that. So I can't really speak to that, but for my skin type, these things work fabulously. So maybe they would for you too, if you have a similar skin type to me. 
All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this and it was fun to just kind of revisit the things over this past year that I used a lot, see what I still love and things that now kind of have been, eh, no, that's not really my favorite anymore. I don't really even care for that. And um, things that I was hoping to try last year that I didn't try and that several of them I don't care to try this year. So that's kind of cool. And I like that I narrowed my list from 20 down to eight. So yeah. All right, well, thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you very soon. Bye.